I'm Jason with Ely Outfitting Company and in this video we're going to talk about how to steer your canoe. So a couple of big picture concepts are, first off, if the front paddler and the back paddler are paddling on opposite sides of the canoe and in unison, you're more likely to go in a straight direction. Also, as you're loading your canoe, you'll want to make sure that your canoe is nice and trim in the water. So the front end isn't up in the air, but the front and back are nice and level in the water. We also have a, an adjustable front seat in the front of the canoe, so you can move that front paddler forward so that you can bring the front of the canoe down in the water a little bit, keep it nice and trim. Both paddlers have certain roles. The front paddler is primarily responsible for power. Consider them the motor. The back paddler is primarily responsible for steering. Consider them the steering wheel. But of course, there's more teamwork involved than that might make it sound like. I'm gonna show you some of the main paddling strokes. The basic paddling stroke is just the forward stroke. We use these uh, special bent shaft paddles. Uh, they work uh, for steering just the same as a straight shaft, but they're more efficient. And the reason they're more efficient is because uh, the most e efficient blade position is perfectly vertical in the water, and the strongest position is at your hip. And a bent shaft paddle keeps your paddle perfectly positioned to paddle further with less effort. Um, but otherwise, they work exactly the same as a straight shaft paddle. As you, you start moving your canoe forward, uh, you can use the regular forward stroke, which is just uh, holding the grip of the handle like a baseball, choking up closer to the blade of the paddle. Uh, dig your paddle in and pull the water back. You want to think about um, your paddle being sort of upright in the water. That's going to be your most efficient position. Uh, when you're paddling and also you want to think of making a line uh, that follows the center line of the canoe kind of straight um, along the side of the canoe and that's the forward stroke um, as you're paddling along um, for steering you want to think about uh, constant little corrections rather than occasional big corrections um, so one correction stroke is the J stroke and the way the J-stroke stroke works is you just dig your paddle in, pull the water back, and push the water away at the end of the stroke. Dig in, pull back, and push the water away at the end of the stroke. Now that's going to compensate for the canoe wanting to go to the right um, if you're in the back of the canoe and paddling on the left. Um, you can also use the J-stroke as a... Um, as a turning stroke, and when you do it that way, you just uh, push the water more forcefully away at the end of that stroke. Um, uh, so if you're doing it on the left, your canoe is going to want to turn to the left. Another main steering stroke is the C stroke, and uh, the C is more of a diagonal than like a C shape. To do a C, uh, you're on the left side of the canoe, you reach out and you bring the water toward the canoe at a diagonal and that's going to pull the back of the canoe to the left and the front of the canoe is going to want to go to the right. It's the exact opposite if you do it on the other side of the canoe. The steering strokes that we learned as uh, kids in old aluminum canoes is the rudder stroke. And the rudder stroke is really inefficient uh, for traveling, but so long as you have uh, momentum, it's also really effective. The way the rudder stroke works is if you're on the left-hand side of the canoe, just set your paddle in, and as long as you, you have momentum, the canoe will turn to the left, and the opposite if you set it in on the right-hand side. The time that I like to use the rudder stroke is when I'm coming up to the shore, because you want to think parallel parking as you come up to land. and uh, then if you're still not quite close enough, um, you can reach out uh, with a draw stroke uh, to bring the canoe right up to shore uh, nice and gently. A draw stroke works where you reach your paddle out, pull the water toward the canoe, uh, and the canoe is just going to go perfectly sideways. Uh, that's a really nice stroke for coming up to the shoreline. It's also a really good uh, paddling stroke for the front paddler. They can use the draw stroke to move the front of the canoe to the left or the right. The other stroke that I'll show you is sometimes we need to put on the brakes. And if you need to put on the brakes, you just do a back paddle, which is put your blade in the water and push the water forward. And that's going to put on the brakes for your canoe. And so those are some tips on how to keep your canoe generally going where you want it to go when you're on your Boundary Waters trip.